Kalhalayim, Lai Hauba, Shemi Abushai, Bahashem, Makakodash, double honors the apostles and those of great and stolen and salutations to the sincere Akim. Let's put push in the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity of truth. That's why I'm coming to you with a quick lesson. Um, this lesson is about the apostles in the ancient time teaching the disciples. The followers of Yahweh Shai who the oral ignorantly calls Jesus and Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jar, Jehovah, etc. Alright? This is our second Timothy chapter 1, verse 13. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Right now, the reason why I'm bringing this precept is how the Apostle Paul, when he wrote this letter to Timothy, um, it says, Hold fast the form of the sound of words. And I always, you know, try to visualize how the 47, I believe, scholars, scholars and King James was led by the Spirit to choose certain words when translating and transliterating the scriptures. Right. Like, you know, there's, like, for example, when you go into Strong's, you think that this word you're using, um, you know, you could read on a surface level, but, you know, the spirit of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has taught us that we need to go into the Greek and to the Hebrew, right? Whether some people like it or not, that's just fact. So, I'm going to go into the word form, <clears throat> and it's uh, hypo two pussies. Strong's G, 5296. Hupatuposis. Hupatuposis. Right, and it says an outline, a sketch, a brief and summary exposition, an example, a pattern. All right? Now, when I read that scripture, choose pretty Alba Shin Moshe. Um, this precept pops to mind. Right, a pattern and an example because Yahweh Shai's name looks like yeah. Yahweh Shai's name is um is a pattern or an example of the Moses Shai's name. Right? Uh, it says where is it this is John chapter 5 and verse 43 I am come in my father's name and ye receive me not if another shall come in his own name him ye, him ye will receive and that's talking about literal name as well as, as you know reputation all right because people have accepted you know the all these other names and you know we will continue harping and glorifying and magnifying his name because the scripture says and the elect shall praise his holy name they shall confess it all right and the Hawashai name is an example a pattern of the Mosai name so when the apostles said The apostle said, hold fast, hold fast the form of sound words, right? The example of the sound doctrine. And I'm not going to go into that word sound, not that word, look, uh, words. It's Hugiano, um, Hugiano, which means of well, well, well. Well, going. Let me just check it real quick. Slack here. Yeah. Let me don't do that. Let me check them. All right. It says good health. Uh, to be well. To be in good health and to be well. So. I thought people say you sound asleep. Well, in the form of. 
the form of some words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Mashiach El Shai. And he wouldn't have said Christ, he would have said Christos. Um, Paul, being a Hebrew and Greek speaker, and he would have said Yahweh Shai, right? Because those names are very important, right? Um, another priest that comes to mind is one in Exodus. Yeah. In, uh, Exodus ter five, I believe. Let's see. Okay, for the long pause, is not here. Yes, so it's Exodus 23. Yeah, Exodus 23 and 21. Slack, yeah. And it reads, Beware of him. Let's, let's get the point of the uh, of that scripture. Right. Come on. Are you tripping now? It says, uh, is Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way. That's why Yahweh I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. To keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Alright? Alright, that was just a quick hit. Pray this lesson was edifying. Let's indicate in that you know, the apostles taught the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to the Israelite foreigner who didn't speak Hebrew and so forth. They weren't aware that you know they were of, of Israel's seed. Right? I want to say all oh, praise to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai. The honest, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Baha, Rakakwadash, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Shalom.